What's good YouTube? Today I'm back with another video and I've seen you guys have enjoyed my last video. we got like 2k views and I thought, you know, maybe I should make more tweaking videos for you guys to boost your FPS in Fortnite. So I am here with another video on top 5 tweaks you can do to boost your FPS in Fortnite. They are pretty simple, so you should have no trouble doing them and this could give you a big FPS boost if you have a low NPC. But anyways, let's get started. So first, what you guys want to do is go to your Epic Games. I gotta wait for my Epic Games to open. And then once it's open, you want to click on your profile, go to settings, and just turn off all of these boxes. Untick all of these boxes. Besides allow auto updates, of course, that's optional though. You don't need that. But if you want it, you know, you can have it. But then you want to go to where it says Fortnite down here. You want to click that. You go to the link of this link of the description and you want to see what I have put there this text will be in the description you want to copy and paste it and you want to put it right here but make sure you have this checked also but you want to paste it right here and this will just use all your available cores on your CPU and just make your game run faster and stuff like that and it won't have unnecessary stuff loading when you start up the game which will boost your fps of course so guys for this next week where you guys want to go is you want to open up your file explorer like usual go to your drive for windows i'm going to click on program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and then you want to scroll down until you see all of these applications now once you see all these all of these applications you want to click on the first one right click properties compatibility and you want to click disable full screen optimizations and for this one you also want to put run this program as administrator so it uses your resources in your computer it has the permissions to do that then you want to change high dpi you want to check this box right here make sure you press ok and apply once you have these settings down and go to the next one now you want to do the same for the rest of them but just don't add this. Don't take it for the rest of them. Only take it for the one that I just showed. So what you guys, you know, just, just do it normally how you did with the other ones. But do not mess with this one. Only do it to the other ones. Do not mess with this one though. This won't really do shit. But, you know, for the rest of them like this, you know, checked and everything. And it's basically it. All right, guys. So for this next week, what you guys want to do is you want to go to settings system graphic settings you want to turn harder acceleration accelerated gpu scheduling this is good for low-end pcs if you have a bad cpu it doesn't run well but anyways come down here to where it says browse go to acer program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries 164 click all four of these not this but everything else besides this so like that, so you already put it so it's gonna say that. So then you guys wanna left click on Fortnite, options, and make sure it's on high performance on your GPU. Now this will run your game on high performance on your GPU, which is what you want, which will increase your performance and your FPS in Fortnite Battle Royale. On to the next week. All right guys, so for the next week, what you guys wanna do is you wanna go to your search bar, type in registry editor, like I have right here, press yes you'll find a code in the description that takes you here you want to basically copy that and paste it here this is the destination you want to be at so make sure you are here from the destination i posted in the description so you just copy and paste it but once you have got here you want to go to file explorer you want to go to acer or whatever your uh, c drive is called you want to go to program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries 164 you're gonna scroll down and as we did with the other ones don't mess with any of these but what you want to do is you want to rename and you want to press ctrl c because it'll all be highlighted then you want to press new key you want to paste it and then put dot exe i have already did it so i can't do it but once you have did it once you have did that you want to go to where you uh, put that at you want to go down on it uh, make a new key you won't have this unless you make a new key so you want to make a new key and then name it perf options but make sure it's spelled just like this 
with the caps of the first letter then you want to go over here press new d word 32 bit and name it cp priority class and you want to put this at three basically this will make the game run on high priority for your cpu which will in turn give you better fps in fortnite battle royale so i do recommend doing this but like i said earlier only do it to all four of these don't mess with this but do it to all four of these all right guys so for this next week what you guys want to do is go to your search bar on the bottom and you want to type in system configuration you want to click that you want to click on boots advanced options then it's gonna this might be great out for you or it might not but if it is or isn't you want to click it if it isn't and then you want to click the number of processors and you want to make sure all of them are selected as you see i have 12 i have all of them selected the max cores selected this is what you guys want so all your cpu cores are being used by the computer and that's it guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you like maybe drop a comment if you need any help with anything that i've shown in this video but um yeah peace out